Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some ATV storage. Uh, if you've seen any of my last couple of videos, you'll know I just bought a CF Moto 800XC. And when I went to look for some storage, I found out that there's not many like custom hard sided options uh, for my particular ATV. So I started looking at Universal Solutions. The first thing I came up with was the Kimi Moto Fender Bag, which I did a review on, uh, I believe, a couple weeks ago. Kimi Moto saw that uh, review and then they said, hey, we can help you out. So they sent me this universal ATV uh, gear bag. And I have to admit, it's really, really nice. So uh, they did send that out to me, but I'm not being paid to do the review. They don't know when it's coming out and they didn't tell me what to say. So uh, we're gonna just give an honest review of this and see if it's something that you might enjoy uh, for your ATV. So what we'll do is we'll look at the mounting system. We'll talk a little bit about the outside and then we'll open it up. And then I have a little bit of video kind of riding through the woods here in my yard to show that you know once you have it locked in and strapped down, uh, that it really doesn't move. So let me turn this camera around and we'll kind of look and see what's going on here. So the way that the Kimimoto Universal bag straps down is it has six uh, buckle straps. So for me, this was not an issue. I have a bumper guard, uh, like an aftermarket bumper guard from CF Moto. And so I had three perfect places to strap that in. And then I was lucky enough on the back that I had three holes line up uh, with that. So that it would just strap right down and, uh, and worked out really, really well. So the way you get inside, oh, I guess I should talk about the outside. So the outside is a water resistant, uh, I believe like a nylon with like a urethane coating. Uh, you can definitely tell that uh, just by rubbing it that it would have uh, the website listed as water resistant. I believe that would be true. Uh, I don't know if it would you know, go through a mud hole and keep everything inside dry or a hurricane, but I believe if you get caught out in a rainstorm that you'll have uh, no problems at all. So I definitely feel uh, real comfortable there. The way you get inside, and hopefully we can do this one-handed, so you just unclip all three straps and everything is Velcroed uh, off to the side. So we'll see if we can do this without making you guys seasick to look on the inside. Ooh, sorry about that. So once you open it up, uh, it definitely has a lot of room. The website listed as 73 liters. It does come with this uh, cooler bag on the inside. And honestly, I don't know how much I will use that, but I appreciate them for throwing that in. And so I'll put that over there. Uh, I did put a helmet in here just so you could kind of get uh, an estimate of how big it is. And it does come with these uh, divider boards uh, that you can put in here in the middle that just Velcro in. Uh, a nice touch too is they also have like some uh, tie downs, almost like one line of uh, Molly uh, going across, going across there. Uh, this comes in a really small box. So the way that when you get it, it'll be kind of rolled up and it has these hard panels. And so you just unzip these and put those in around all four corners. And then uh, it's actually really, really sturdy, uh, much more than you would think of from like a soft uh, cargo box. On the lid, I don't know how much these uh, would be useful, but uh, at least for lightweight stuff, uh, it does have some zippers, uh, some mesh pockets, and those kind of things. You can put snacks or flashlights or, or those kind of things. So uh, I just got my ATV, so I don't have my bag kitted out yet. You guys could uh, definitely put in the uh, comments, what do you think I should uh, put in there? What are the things you need? Uh, I'm thinking like a, a jump starter in case you get out there and your battery won't start, maybe a small air compressor uh, for your tire, you know, tire kit, those kind of things. But let me know uh, in your experience uh, what you think needs to be on there. Uh, overall, I love the bag. If uh, I guess the, the only thing that I would change, and I don't even know if it was possible, I think it would be awesome if you could put these, the strap system on the bottom. I think that would just make accessing it uh, a lot easier. So Kimimoto, if you happen to, uh, to watch this video, if there is a way to have these straps here, and then you could just have your zipper uh, there, I think would make that a whole lot better. But overall, I have uh, been really impressed with the quality of materials, uh, the way that it was packaged, uh, the way that it was put together. And then I'll throw in some video right now of, uh, of me riding around showing you that, you know, hey, once it's, uh, once it's on there, it's on there. So if you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you could hit like and subscribe, uh, we'll have more content coming up in the future. Remember, adventure without definition.